My name is Bill Seegers. A few weeks ago, a few months ago, I came looking for a place to worship God where I could worship Him in truth and to find a family in the church that I could worship with. I come here and I found a beautiful family. Preacher Wilson, his wife, his son, his, his uh, and his son's wife, they all worship the Lord in truth and try to lead us all in the right direction. And uh, 25, 26 years ago, I was out wild in life and the Lord came and told me he wanted me to preach. Standing on top of a mountain at Amicola Falls. And, he, and I argued with him and told him I was unworthy. I didn't know enough about his word and, and that I needed him. And I needed, needed him to guide me and, uh, and to teach me his ways and everything. That I'd start reading his book and I didn't understand, I'd lay it down. But he told me that he made my mouth. And uh, he gave me a church that night. And I preached for about a year and a half. And he told us, I'd read the scriptures and reading his word. He told me in his word, his promise was, if I would walk with Jesus, said, if I'd walk with him and do the Father's works, he would save me and my house. And you know, within a year, I had seven children, and all of them were saved within a year. Because God did what he promised me he would do. And through the years, I've tried to wander away and tried to get, ease up and back off. And when I did, I lost, and I lost my joy. And I lost, I lost the feeling I need to feel with God, my closeness, my relationship with Jesus. And you know, when I came here, and he brought me back in again, when I tried to wander away, they used to call me Wild Bill because I was out in the world and wandering around and doing all the things that I didn't need to do. A lot of things happened to me in those years. I had my legs shot into and lost all the blood in my body. And they said I wouldn't live, I wouldn't walk again, I wouldn't work again. And I, but God showed them a different story. And I'm still here, 43 years later. And still getting to say his word and to, and to do his will. And I always want to do that. And I want all of you to pray for me out there in the audience. Because we're here at the church. We're praying for our family, our church, and our nation, our country. And we ask all of you to pray with us. We're forming a wall of prayer here in the church, and we want all of you to be included in that and help us with this so that God may reach out here and touch a lot of the lost people out and touch the neighborhood here. We want to see it in our neighborhood. We want a better relationship in our neighborhood, better understanding. We want the people to see Jesus in us. And that's what I always want, people to see Jesus in us. And me, I know I'm weak, but he's strong. And I fail, but he conquers all with his love. And his love reaches out everywhere. And that's what I want. I want people to love me, and love me for what I am and who I am, and not what I can do for somebody, but love me for me. Because that's what it's all about. That's what God's all about. He's about love. It was in the, in the first commandment. He said, love thy God with all the mind, all the heart, and all the spirit. And the second commandment said, love thy neighbor as thyself. So that's what he's all about, love. And that's what I want. I want to be loved. I want people to love me and, and I want to see Jesus in me, like I said.